Ableton have recently updated Live's auto warping algorithm, making it super simple to make beats, remix and DJ in Ableton Live. So let's jump in and see how all this works. So basically Ableton Live's new auto warping algorithm detects both the downbeat and tempo variations a lot more accurately when analyzing long audio. So if you're like me, and you've tried importing long samples in Ableton Live before, it was just a disaster. Most people would just have auto warp long samples in the preferences turned off. Let's check out if it's actually improved it or not. First, you need to double check you have Ableton Live 11.3. You can do this by going up and going to About Live, and it will tell you which version you're running here. If you don't have it, go to Ableton Live's website and download or you can go to licenses and maintenance here and you can set up get automatic updates here. Once that's set up, what you need to do is go to record warp and launch, turn auto warp long samples on, restart Ableton Live, so close it down, then open it up and it will be activated. So this is where before we used to drag it in, it used to find the start point and the end point and then the rest just used to be a mess. So let's have a look what's happened here. I've got a a sample from a vinyl here and I'm just gonna drag it in. That's taken a while to load it, but let's have a look inside. Now it looks different. Before we used to have a warp marker at the start, warp marker at the end. Now what it's done, if we zoom in, it's gone and it's looked for the downbeats and arranged it. It looks like it's done a pretty good job. So let me turn on the metronome. Let's hear it from the start. It smashed it. Great, okay. Now if it doesn't do it, what you can do is you can pick a beat, say so here, double click, and you can go in here and go warp from here, and you've also got start the tempo from here. The first two options here deal with sorting out any tempo fluctuations. The second two are for if you have a song that's mapped to a grid. This works well with like electronic dance music where nothing's really fluctuating. You have a set tempo going through. Then it will just align the first auto warp marker. Also have a warp sample as a 32 bar loop. If you just want a section of song, say for example, I just want this section here, I can go in and warp section as a four bar loop. Click that and then what it does is, can you see it just repeats it onwards. That's really useful there. So now if I bring in a beat, Here's one I prepared earlier, a bit like Blue Peter. <laughs> it's perfectly in time. That's so good. That was so annoying before. Okay, also with this power of this here, what we can do is we can now chop this up further. If I go in and create a new MIDI track by pressing Command Shift T, we'll go to Instruments, we'll go down to Simpler, bung that on the channel. Now I'm going to drag this sample, drop it in here. Let me go like um, crop sample just to this four bars. I'm going to change the slice by to beat and I'm going to put it to quarter notes. Okay, so I got cool. So now I'm going to turn this up a little bit here. I'm going to go to zero. Then also I'm going to play around the transposition. Let's try that. Let's try that with this loop up here. Command L to loop it. Mute the original track. Here we go. That's super fun, okay. Hope you found that video helpful. Don't forget 11.3, download it. It's a free update to Ableton Live users. Drag in some audio and automatically warp it. If you enjoyed this video and you wanna learn more about Ableton Live, I have a playlist here with all the things you need to get started. Also, if you want some quick tricks and tips, check out this playlist of all my shorts here. Hopefully see you in a video sometime again soon. Bye for now.